For many lovers of art, Lin Lai is one of the most original artists of the 20th century. His connection with Taranaki began in the 1970s when he formed a strong relationship with the Gavette Brewster Art Gallery. Shortly before he died in 1980, he gifted his entire collection to the Lin Lai Foundation. Now 35 years later, a new centre has been opened in New Plymouth. Our group of students at Sacred Heart Girls College are making this documentary to find out more about Len Lai and this amazing building. We wondered what Len would think of this building in his honour. I think Len would be absolutely happy to see um, the centre, especially because of its external character, the fact that it's made from such bright and shiny stainless steel so it looks a little bit like um, one of his sculptures. He'd probably quibble about a few details here and there, but he'd love it. He'd love the idea that this temple to his art had been created and he would understand uh, decades after he'd passed away that modern 21st century uh, construction could build something like this just for his work. The building is spectacular. One of the most striking features is the stainless steel facade, which was made by local business Rivet. Rivet's really proud of, of what we've done here. It's, it's the first, certainly, uh, and the biggest project that we've ever done as a company. And to start off with, there was a few critics that said it wasn't possible to be done. And uh, to fabricate something like this, which is known worldwide, is, is awesome for our company, and it's uh, got a lot of positive feedback. We think that many tourists will want to come and see the new Lin Lai Centre. We wanted to find out if that would be good for local businesses. Well, it's a big attraction, and, I, and I, my business is this end of town, so I think the Len Lai Centre will attract more people through, more th people through New Plymouth, more people to my business. Already in the last three months, we've seen a huge number of uh, tourists, a lot of people from Auckland, a lot of people from Wellington, coming to town to see the gallery, and being right next to it, they're all coming in here, so yeah, it's really good. And New Plymouth's always been a uh, on the, the western side and a little bit harder to get to and not on your traditional uh, visitor route. Um, people tend to come to Rotorua and Queenstown and Auckland first. Um, but now they're starting to see this new building and they're starting to find out about it. And so they're saying, well, let's come and visit Lien Lai. And while we're here, we'll check out all the other amazing attractions in New Plymouth. So from a business point, it's fantastic. From a personal point, um, it's another great asset for our community. One of the areas we are most excited about is education. We wanted to know if this would continue to play a strong part in the new centre. Yes, there are many education benefits with the Len Lai Centre. Um, Len Lai's art um, links to lots of different curriculum areas. Uh, so, um, yeah, he was the kind of guy who didn't think that art should be just about art. He um, was interested in music and dance and science and nature as well as art. So all those things kind of cross over in his work, so therefore it links very well to uh, New Zealand education. Not everyone in the community supports the Lean Life Centre. There's been a lot of polarisation or different strong different views around the whole aspect of such an investment for, for us in this community. So it's been a, a very interesting journey for everybody really. Now that the Len Lai Centre has been built, uh, the most, probably the most disturbing point of it is, was that one of the comments was the artist, architect's brief was that the building should not overpower the artworks and clearly from the comments seen worldwide, that is the case. Every comment that's there is the building's fantastic, the building's fantastic, the building's fantastic, but you hear very little of what, for me, and I've been to a lot of the displays, is a very disappointing opening exhibition of not only Len Lai's work, but the new Givet Brewster Art Gallery. For most people though, how they feel about the building is very proud. I'm incredibly proud of the Len Lai Centre and the sheer number of people that are coming through here to enjoy the work prove that it was a, a wonderful thing for us to do. I think I'm proud of the fact that um, it's a cool building, it's innovative, but also that we made it happen 
because that wasn't easy and you know there were people that um, didn't want it to happen and people just um, stuck together and got support of their community. I'm absolutely proud to have been involved with the centre. It has actually taken about 10 years of work and there have been many, many people involved, um, also from within New Plymouth's community. Um, and I'm happy to be associated with all of those people and with the completion of the project and now to actually be showing the art again. I'm really proud that when I um, travelled the country it's held up as an example of what uh, rural New Zealand can achieve and there's a lot of fellow mayors and community leaders that are quite envious really of such a fantastic outcome so yes I'm extremely proud. And, and, uh, and we are proud too, because our school played a part in the grand opening. We created tribute films by painting directly to film, just like Len Lai did. And we also created live performance art using materials that Len Lai might have used. Working with Chris and Rebecca, we practiced hard at school and then performed at the centre on opening day. Now we have a connection to this new centre and Len Lai that will stay with us forever.